With another look, gets the defender on his heels and finishes strong. Colorado is up a half dozen. Wildcats fight back. This basketball season gave something entirely new to students at CU. Not only did the Buffs bring us our first Pac-12 championship and then dancing in March Madness, but they also brought back hope to our basketball program. Compared to my past two years here, I definitely say that this is the most exciting our student section has ever been in a very, very long time. It was actually kind of fun because I went to most of the games over winter break when a lot of student body wasn't here. And then slowly, as school started to begin, more and more students were coming to all the games. And it was exciting to really see the student section grow game after game. The C unit was born, creating an incredible fan base for the Buffs. Head coach Tad Boyle and the players even said that they had the best fans in the league. These fans followed their beloved Buffs to California for the Pac-12 tournament, and then again to Albuquerque, New Mexico, to cheer them on in the NCAA tournament. We rushed to court. It was insane because we got to go like stand next to the uh, the players, watch the interviews with ESPN, the whole nine yards. It was awesome. In California, the C unit were able to witness Carlin Brown's infamous dunk and watch him lead the Buffaloes to their first Pac-12 championship. After the game, the team dedicated the win to the six graduated seniors. You know, we talked about it as a group. Uh, if you believe in destiny, you know, you believe in the Colorado Buffaloes because it was meant to be for us. Uh, and, uh, you know, we dedicated this game beforehand to uh, uh, Corey Higgins, Levi Knutson, Marcus Relford, Trent Beckley, Javon Coney, and Alec Burks. It was these seniors that Tad Boyle mentioned who were snubbed last year by the NCAA and not invited to partake in the tournament. After nine long years of waiting, though, CU got their chance last week. Sadly, they fell to Baylor on Saturday with a score of 80 to 63. Tad Boyle reassured the fans that we will not have to wait almost another decade for our next chance to dance. In fact, it could be next year. Perhaps we are all witnessing the transformation of CU turning into a basketball school. Paris Bradley, New Scene Boulder.